Jump back to some of the other big stories we're following tonight as the retrial of Maryland doctors accused of sharing patient medical records with Russia could start in just a couple of weeks now. WJZ is live at federal court downtown, and Paul Gessler explains what could cause a delay in the married couple's trial. Paul. Nikki, doctors Anna Gabriellian and Jamie Lee Henry have until Tuesday afternoon tomorrow to decide whether they want another pretrial hearing on classified information. If so, that would delay their retrial. Maryland doctors Anna Gabriellian and Jamie Lee Henry are once again preparing for trial, accused of conspiracy and disclosing patient medical records. A single juror held out convicting them in June, believing the government entrapped the Rockville couple. The judge declared a mistrial. Dr. Gabriellian and her spouse, Dr. Henry, a former U.S. Army major, were recorded handing out patient medical records to an undercover FBI agent posing as a Russian government official. The government filed this superseding indictment against Gabriellian last week, charging her with fraud in connection to the patient records. Gabriellian testified at trial she reached out to the Russian embassy initially to offer medical aid and only complied with the agent's demands for medical records because she feared retribution. The couple now must decide overnight whether to request a so-called SEPA hearing, which would try to determine any instances of foreign adversaries flipping high-level officials based on medical records or the history of Russian intelligence actions on U.S. soil. Prosecutors warned, though, that hearing may not produce anything of substance. New defense attorney David Schoen argued the government's case is light, telling the judge there are a number of reasons to believe HIPAA charges were an act of desperation. Now, if the couple decides to forego that SEPA hearing, their trial, their retrial, is set to begin in two weeks. For now, reporting live outside federal court downtown, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ. Paul, thank you.